All right, so we're here at the National Sports Collectors Convention. My first time. This is a 400,000 square foot building that we're gonna go check out a lot of cards out. But more importantly, we're here with a company called ComC that is so awesome. And we're gonna learn a little bit more about them this week. Also, we're gonna sign some autographs and give away some fun things, so let's go. Give it that amazing Five look. figures, maybe? Five? Wow. <laughs> Did you see that coming? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't realize you liked it. Yeah, I just started, uh, I think it was right at the beginning of December. We had, my son was like a couple months old. And we just started kind of looking into it and learning a little more. And I was like, you know, this is something really cool for my son. So I need my daughter. She wants to get into it. So these guys right here, NASCAR Radio, go check them out. They just hooked us up with some. Check this out. That's Pop Pop. Back in the day. Thank you guys. There we go. That's a nice rhythm. I'm Ty Dillon, NASCAR driver, and uh, just started collecting this cars in, done early. in December, so I'm kind of new into the game, but I hit it really hard, and aggressive. You're saying December of like last year? This past So year. you've yeah. been in the hobby for seven months? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Holy yeah. God. So, along with that, I, uh, we had just had our second child, our son, and uh, so I thought it'd be something cool that him and I could do, or even my daughter when she gets older. So, so um, that's yeah, family. yeah. So it's all there for me, like family-wise, and just uh, a hobby that I enjoy. It's on brand to your life. Like, Absolutely, it fits. It, it fits. fits right, perfect. And you like to have fun a little bit too, yes. right? Being a NASCAR driver, a lot of yeah. adrenaline. Absolutely. Open a box, a lot yeah, of adrenaline. There's, there's nothing more uh, exciting than opening a box, <laughs> whether you get killed on it or you crush it. There's, uh, it's pretty cool. The risk that risk same reward factor. Get that same heart. Um, the final card was a medal. Yeah. You want one of these, Joe? Yeah, please. Uh -huh. Since we've done a vlog and our life has grown, our family has grown, we are here currently in our home in Snohomish, Washington. And uh, kind of one of the big additions in our life is this home here. And uh, we want to give you guys kind of an inside peek at our life right now in our house in Snohomish. And this is Captain, the newest addition. This is Oakley. She's three and a half now. Captain's nine months. And yeah, our family's growing. Yep. A little hard to walk, Master. Oh, pretty girl. Oh, what a lady looks like that. I could wake up in the morning and I can wave in my bed. Every other night because we've become obsessed with it. 
so. This is the current uh, Dylan family favorite. It is our go-to in the moment. I feel like we have a, we go through months of rotations of three or four meals, and we have a top A list that is like we hit it quite often, and then we have two rotators after that. I'm very lucky to have a wife that is a great, great chef. So right now I am trying. Also, I mean, we don't eat like this every night either. Right now I'm making, I'm frying up bacon because I'm doing it up good for you, Joseph. My, you might have a meeting of the minds with my mom about that one. <laughs> Stopping at my favorite coffee shop. I'll take you guys with me on my on my morning runs out here on the West Coast. This, I always ask them what their go-to of the week is. This is a honey cinnamon latte, and uh, it's really good. Dutch door. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Come on in. We bought this house uh, a couple years ago. It was, it was built in 1892. It's so. exactly 100 years older than Haley and I. Yes. So it's 129, and um, it has been Pretty very remodeled, remodeled, but, yeah. but uh, we made it our own, and we gave it some flair, so it still kind of has that old feel to yeah. it, and we kept a lot of the bones, but um, yeah, The biggest thing is we opened up, you know, the old style houses had a lot of little rooms, so this room was divided in half into probably, there was almost three different rooms in this section. Um, and we opened up everything so it's almost, you can see through the whole lower level here. And uh, just made it brighter and uh, has a great cherry feel to it every day. You get the sun here. We kept here. all of the stained glass. All the stained glass is original and a lot of these windows are original. They all have storm windows too um, because, you know, these old windows, a lot of them you can see like the wavy graininess in them. And um, there was there was a few things about the house that were a little bit um, uh, sketchy that we had to update, but they were authentic and really cool. So we kept as much as we could. Like we loved the radiators. We got them sanded down and painted, and um, but we kept them and their real functioning radiant heat, which is really fun. Um, we. One of the things that was kind of sketch was the uh, staircase, but it's beautiful. It was just that the handrail was too low, so we added these little, um, we added these pegs to the whole thing. So the whole thing is original, but we added about eight inches to it. So now it's not too short, because with little ones, that was a little scary. So this room was the master bedroom originally. The original family that lived in this house had nine kids and I'm pretty sure they had them in the home. So I don't know how they did it. It's amazing, I commend them. But this, this was the original master bedroom. It was a little different, looked a little different. We've done some things and added a bathroom up here. Um, we are still, finishing. yeah, we're still oh, decorating and stuff. Open wires. But, uh, and who would have thought that Washington would have so much heat in the summertime? I mean, I know I was born and raised here, and we never had AC growing up. But man, now I've gotten so used to it in the South. And yeah, this house doesn't have AC. Water unit. 
a mobile unit. This is one of the coolest things about this house too is the view that we have out of the bedroom and out of the living room. Today it's a little smoky. There's some fires on eastern eastern Washington, but typically you can see the Cascade Mountains out of our window. And every once in a while you get a glimpse at Mount Rainier, which is one of the top biggest mountains in the country. So really special view, super beautiful. This whole area was one room that we made into two. What, baby? You want to tell them about your bedroom? You want to tell them about your bedroom? No, he's my bed. About your bed. Very cool. Um, anyway, we added a bathroom in here, and I'm so glad we added this little door because it goes to Oakley's room, so she's close to us, and um, yeah, I love it. And this is Oakley's room. Is there a princess room? Show me your bed. Show me your bed. <laughs> Alright, this is a pretty special moment in a pretty special place. Uh, we get to baptize David and I. Like, I, like somehow I have to make sure you're there. David and I get to baptize our friends, Ty and Haley. And um, guys, first of all, thanks for inviting us. I, I would say inviting David and then I jumped in. Yeah. Um, thanks, for, thanks for inviting us. Baptism, um, to me, is one of the most sacred, beautiful acts of worship that we can do as Jesus followers. Um, and it's not because the water's holy, it's because our trust and our faith in Jesus makes it so sacred and so holy. Um, one of the great truths in, in, in the universe, in the whole wide world, is that, um, and I can start crying, especially if I look at you guys, so I'll look right in the camera. Um, and that is that, that Jesus is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And I'm reminded when uh, he was walking by John the Baptist, um, as he was decreasing and the ministry of Jesus was increasing, John the Baptist, almost from his guts, you know, the Hebrew says, he, he says, Behold, open your eyes, see what's in front of you. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And today, we're going to celebrate that your sins are completely and totally covered. And the act of baptism is, is modeled for us by Jesus. Why does Jesus have to be baptized? Because he wanted to demonstrate once and for all, for all of us who believe in him, the power and magnitude of what we're declaring. I don't care what it is, guys. Today we're celebrating that as sure as these rocks and sand are under this water, so are your sins forever. Every sin you'll ever commit, we are celebrating and commemorating by our faith. It is completely covered. And you are free, free of shame, free of guilt, free of shame in your marriage, free of using shame as parents, free of using shame with your friends. You never have to use shame. Shame's not a part of our life. And I love this. I've had this thought recently. It's also a life of no regrets. Yeah. It's right. I mean, yeah. that's what shame is. It's like yeah. regretting things. But to grow up and, and share with your babies that as they grow up, hey, no regrets. Yeah. We're free because of Jesus. And so... That, that's what we're going to do. We always feel closer to God when we're with either one of you. <laughs> and that we're just, we feel really, really honored that you guys would even want to do this. We're so appreciative. You guys are such a special part of our journey yeah. and, and all of this from, from day one. So we love you guys. You love it. All right, Haley, do you love Jesus with your whole heart? Yes. Are you going to serve him all the days of your life? Absolutely. Well, Haley, based off of your confession of faith and your trust in Jesus, it's now my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, into the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Woo! <laughs> Come on! Thank you, Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 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 hey, it's not so bad. The dunk's not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> and Ty, why do you want to be baptized today? I just want to, um, I just want everyone to know who I love and it's Jesus. And he's changed my life, changed me as a person, introduced me to the best people in my life, and uh, any way to 
to share with, with the world the, the love of my life is Jesus. You're amazing. Well, like I said to Haley, this is a public declaration of a death, burial, and most importantly, the resurrection of Jesus, which you have experienced in your life. It guides and dictates every day of your life and the man that you are. Ty, do you love Jesus with your whole heart? Are you going to serve him all the days of your life? Awesome. Ty, go ahead and plug your nose across your arm. Ty, based off your confession of faith and your love for Jesus, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost into the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Woo! Come on, Come on man. <laughs> we did it. Let me, let, me, let me pray for you guys. Yeah, come on. Come on, let's pray thank together. You, Jesus. Hey, Jesus, we thank you for this amazing, incredible family. God, I thank you that we, what we have just done together, God, symbolizes such an incredible and the most important decision that this family has and will ever make. God, I thank you that you are guiding their future, that you are guarding them, that you are protecting them, that each step that they walk out, God, that you have paved it before them. God, I thank you that even greater things are going to come before them. I thank you that they're going to draw their strength from their weakness, God, because you are their strength. So, Father, we look to you. I thank you, Jesus, for your saving grace, God, for your love, and Jesus, for this incredible couple. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Thank Woo. you. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, my oh. God. Wait till you thank see Jesus. Jesus. photos we got, too. To be oh, honest, I don't think you. it could be any like oh, this. It's so cool. Cool.